I finally took lucid dreaming too far. And what I mean by this is that I've spent maybe the last two months reading solidly for eight hours a day. I've read dozens of books. And if you're wondering how have I uploaded in that time, well, it's because I normally schedule videos quite far in advance. So in July and August, and also kind of June as well, I've been reading solidly. And what I've discovered is that, kind of like I suspected before, this reality that we think is real is not actually real. And if you've never heard of this idea, I would refer to it as the holographic universe theory. And, but it's also mentioned in several ancient texts, like more than I can count now. Uh, if you're interested, maybe I'll share my mind map one day, but it's, pretty, it's a pretty enormous file. And so what I've discovered is that everything is contained within this one specific tiny point or seed. And with a hologram, the idea is that any point in the hologram is a map to every other point in the hologram. This is kind of how DNA works. And the idea is that what you focus on becomes the reality you experience. So if you focus on something positive, you'll get a positive experience and vice versa. And this is very interesting because it goes back to how lucid dreaming actually works. So when you lucid dream, what happens is you will have an experience, when you dream I mean, that is largely subconscious, right? It's almost entirely random, or you could say random, it's not really random. What it is, is just the default experience that you're going to have if you don't intervene. Intervene is a cl uh, classical, or I should say a critical word here. So if you don't intervene in the dream, meaning if you don't become lucid, it's kind of random, right? If you intervene, as in if you become lucid, now you can control things. So now you can decide what you want to experience, and then if you expect it enough, with enough energy, it will happen. Exactly the same thing happens in physical reality. If you expect and want something to happen and you focus on it enough, it will happen. Literally as simple as that. And this is not just Steph going off on a random tangent who, you know, I've lost my mind. It's nothing like that. This is something that's been mentioned several times in all the ancient texts. It's been mentioned in modern science as well, like the holographic reality theory. Uh, it's been mentioned all over the place. And this idea is echoed all over the place that what you focus on becomes the reality you experience. They kind of accidentally proved this idea, uh, the CIA gateway experience report. I made a video about that. If you didn't see that, it's pretty interesting. And this was kind of quietly released to the public a few months ago. Quantum mechanics and quantum physics is also struggling with this because what they discovered is that the further in they zoom to a specific molecule, particle, atom, electron, whatever, quark, and the smaller ones, quasar, whatever they are, um, the, the further you zoom in, you realize that actually there's nothing there. There's no physical substance there. And it's an illusion. It's a hologram. There's no specific thing that you can point to and say that is part of this cup or whatever, and it's in this specific location because it doesn't exist. It's not there. It's only there as a pattern or a wave, which then collapses into a field or, you know, a more solid object when you focus on it and observe it. When you don't observe the particle, and I, I'm probably butchering the quotes from this by the way, but when you don't observe the particle, uh, it doesn't exist or it exists as a potent, an infinite ray, array of potentials or a wave. And they, they very famously proved this with the double slit experiment. They fired kind of particles at these two different slits and they found that when they weren't looking at it, the particles were going into two slits at the same time. And then when they did look at it, they would form up into one slit depending on which one they thought it would go through which is enormous this is like you know revolutionary science they discovered that physical matter what we think is real is only real when we expect it to do something specific so what we expect to happen will happen when we don't expect anything to happen both possibilities or, or we should say all possibilities exist at the same time so yeah that's what I mean when I say I, take, I took lucid dreaming too far. I've kind of gone down the rabbit hole now and uh, I'd love to hear what you think about this. If you've read the book, I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. If there's any kind of quantum physicists out there, which there probably aren't, but if there are, what do you think about this theory? It's almost irrefutable at this point. I mean, the science laid out in this book is absolutely groundbreaking. So let me know what you think and I'll see you next time.